Ah, okay. And then Zay. Britain's yeah. first croc farmer. <laughs> Are these particularly vicious crocodiles you're leading me towards? Only one of them. That's Kitty's over there. She's the most aggressive of all of them. That one? Yeah. Well, isn't this a bit cruel to keep these crocodiles in this confined space? The enclosure is um, about four times as big as it actually needs to be. They've got 4,000 gallon tank there. They can swim around. Mm. They can jump out the water. So what about escaping? I mean, have the villagers uh, got a bit anxious and put extra barbed wire around the gardens? Um, no, because these are cold-blooded animals, they can't survive in our climate. If they got outside, they'd slow right down and stop and we'd just pick them up again. So what would you normally feed them? Um, usually they're feeding, uh, feeding them on chicken. We're feeding them the pigs today, stillborn pigs. Oh, yeah. I wish you hadn't said that. It's important to remember that these would have been incinerated. Why uh, have you got the pig on a rod, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, so you can fish a crocodile. We're going to get you to dangle him in and see if you can catch a croc. So you don't just, like, chuck them in? Yeah. You take, take that and hang over this side. Andy, this does seem a very dangerous way of feeding. Here she comes. <gasps> Cuddles. <laughs> That's cuddles. Cuddles. <laughs> it's your auntie Janet. So, what what bits of the crocodile uh, do you eat? If I catch a little one, that's going to be the easiest way to actually show you. This one's smaller. Not very <laughs> happy. He gets spare ribs, which mm. obviously is a rib cage. Yeah. It on anything. The legs they call uh, crocodile wings. Yeah. And then the prime meat is actually on the tail here, which is a solid muscle. It's uh, cutting steaks like swordfish or anything else. And, uh, right, there we go, smaller.